Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to The Green Room. I'm here in Orlando, Florida, a tourist mecca that attracts over 60 million visitors a year. Because what happens here is the intersection of energy production in the 21st century, as you're about to see. While Central Florida sees over 60 million visitors a year, it's also an area that's on the forefront of energy production, addressing a challenge all cities face, handling food waste. In fact, food waste is one of our country's greatest challenges. Despite efforts to reduce the waste, upwards of 40% of the food grown in the U.S. is never consumed. Concern for a lot of uh, local communities. Here in Central Florida, it's, uh, food waste is generated at approximately 24 pounds every second. So that's 1,000 tons every day to the landfill. That's quite a lot of waste you're talking about there. So we're here in Central Florida to partner up with Caterpillar, our partners, and the local uh, industries and, and companies that are on the forward thinking side of this issue. Um, we're able to divert approximately 120,000 tons of material each year that would otherwise go to landfill. It's called the Orlando Energy Garden, a renewable energy facility here in Central Florida that literally takes in tons of organic waste. In fact, each one of these tanks contain over one million tons of organic matter that will soon be converted into electric power and natural fertilizer. So Kelly, the, the size of these tanks is pretty impressive. What, what's exactly in them? Uh, so in these enormous tanks uh, is the organic material that we bring into the facility. A combination of food waste from uh, restaurants and hotels, uh, oil and grease from grease traps, as well as biosolids from the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, and in these tanks, uh, which are heated to 100 Fahrenheit, the material breaks down to produce uh, renewable, sustainable biogas used in our engines to create heat and power. This product is very unique, not only for Central Florida, uh, but for the whole country. Uh, and what's so unique about it is that uh, it's a process called co-digestion, where various organic waste streams are converted into renewable energy. I could say that I think this is on the front lines uh, of what's to come. This is the, the next frontier for waste and energy. This innovative solution starts with anaerobic digestion, a process utilized by Harvest Power that is capable of converting everything from manure on dairy farms to food waste at theme parks and produce clean energy and fertilizer products. Known for proposing big solutions to big problems, this is the largest commercial-scale anaerobic digester in the country. Harvest Power is all about organic management. We needed a sustainable solution for handling the organic waste from the variety of industries uh, in the neighborhood. It's also not only for something like this, it can be a very decentralized way of sustainable living wherein you generate your own power, you have enough uh, district heating, at the same time you have fertilizer to grow your crops and food and you have water for irrigation and for drinking purposes. So it's, it's very, very unique and very futuristic. Yet while Harvest Power excels at organic management, they needed someone else equally good at power generation to complete the waste to energy process. They found such a partner in Caterpillar and cat dealer Ring Power. The renewable biogas that is created is about 60% methane, which is then captured and used to power two cat generators on site that have been configured to run on biogas. This creates enough energy to power nearly 2,000 homes each year. Well, the powerhouse is creating 5.4 megawatts of total power. 3.2 megawatts come out as electric power, but the whole facility is running about the equivalent of 50 small family cars, or maybe you can convert that over to about 90,000 light bulbs continuously around the clock. 3.2 megawatts of power, roughly translated to about 2,000 homes worth of annual use, is put out as electric power. The rest is put out as heat. This is a great example of combining sustainability and innovation. You know, here we are able to help use a waste product and uh, convert that into clean energy. And energy that not only powers the facility here itself, but helps provide power for the Central Florida community. It's really a win-win waste to energy story. This unique ability to provide power through food waste is complemented by yet another benefit of this system, taking the organic matter that is left over from energy generation and using it as fertilizer for area farmers so that food can be grown more efficiently. And when that food becomes waste, 
Well, the sustainable cycle is completed. So Caterpillar, Ring Power, and the folks at Harvest Power are very interested in protecting the environment. We created an entire team so that we could make these processes more successful. One thing about green energy is that it needs to be able to be self-sustaining and viable economically. My old team is super excited to make that a possibility. So whenever you're a part of a, uh, a project like that or growing a new industry, that's always exciting. We've got great people here at Harvest Power and uh, I think this is truly a, a, uh, uh, an example of what a sustainable environment can look like when you have innovative minds and a shared common goal. It's all about the founding vision of Harvest Power, harvesting a more sustainable future by changing organic waste to energy.